Hello, beautiful beings. Today, we're gonna make little notebooks, okay? This is the inside, and I picked this on the inside because it'll flip up this way. And if I would've done it this way, that would've been backwards, okay? So the writings, I always make them a flip up. Okay, this is cardstock. I think this is from, it's either Joanne or Hobby Lobby's, okay? And I glued it down to a piece of junk mail with Modge Bodge, Maddie. Okay, get an envelope, any size you want. I always save my envelopes. I don't really have to close up. Any shape, size, whatever you want. I'll show you an idea I got for the window because it's a pain in the butt trying to get cardstock or something around the window. So, so why not paint it? And then after I had this almost done to show you, so you don't have to watch me paint the whole thing. And if you get any paint on the plastic, just go like that, okay? And then try again. You're probably thinking, what the heck is she doing? But when this dries, I will show you. Okay, I wanted to show you. You know the wording that's on the envelope. I'm trying to hide that. So I'm putting on real thick paint. Because this brown oxide is thick. But if you don't have thick paint, it might take you a couple coats that were to hide that wording. Okay, I wanted to show you another effect. Paint the whole envelope and then take this. It just gives it like a texture and different pattern than just plain old paint. Okay. I probably waited till it was too much dry, but you're getting a gift of it. Texture too. Okay. And then you can get it in here. Just cut out like the, he was a scrap because I just wanted to top. So I cut him out and then I glued him in there. Like that. Okay. All you do is measure it, like take a piece like this, measure it like that, and then trim it right there, then tuck it in, you know, a picture, whatever you want, and then glue it, and I used Elmer's glue to glue that in. I just put it down and like, the piece I cut out, and then I very carefully open this up and put it in there. And Pressed down and glued it. Okay? Probably should show you how to do that. Alright, I'll be back. Okay, beautiful beings. These are just examples. Okay, say this. I got all these out of magazines. Okay? As you can see, I'm just gonna take some glue and put it along here to hide the edge. I'm gonna put this right on the edge as far over as I can. I don't want to cover that B. See, there's a B there. If you see that, there's a B there. I want to cover that. So I'm going to put that there. Like that. And I could probably move the bottom out more for a leg if I wanted to. All right. And then I'm going to do it on the other side. Just take some glue, put it down. Put this over like that. Okay. And then I'm going to trim this off and trim this off. Then we're going to ink this up. Not ink this up. We're going to glue this up. 
like this. I'm going to glue all the way down, up, like this, pull it off, get rid of that, open our envelope, tuck this down in there, just like that, and voila. And that's what I usually do. I usually do this part and then work around it. It's not, it needs moved over. It's not, it's not over on that edge. No, nope, it needs moved over more. There we go. But that's what I do. I put that down. And then I work around the picture of what colors I want to use. Okay, here's another one. Got it out of a magazine. Okay. And I just cut off this part up here and left no bones about it. Took it and put it in an envelope. This. And I made sure this wasn't showing. I moved it over. I moved that down. Okay. It needs moved over more, but you're getting the drift of it. And here's a clock. It doesn't even have to be about Halloween. It can be about anything that you like. There's a fish for a fisherman. You can make one with a fish. Okay. This for a magazine. I just cut it out and stuck it in there. And then this one I wanted to show you. It had, because it's in a magazine. So, of course, it has a number there or a letter. And all you got to do to hide that is take a little paint. This is going to be black because I'm going to hide the hillbilly. Like this. And there's black on the back of it. That's why I chose black. And I'm just going to hide this. Like that. And it might need two layers and it might not need two layers. Okay. But if you want that texture to show up, like something's happening, but you don't know what, you can just do it thicker. Like I did with the brown. Okay, just to hide that. And then when it dries, you tuck it right in there. Okay? But that's all you gotta do. Just cover it up with something. This won't show. I don't think. No, that won't show. Because see, that's over on the right. Okay? Alright, I just wanted to show you that. This one. That's the front. Now, we're going to take the melted chocolate. And put that all the way around. But this is liquid D, because it's the one I put water in. Because it was almost gone. This one's a little harder, because it's... <gasps> Ah, oh, because it's wet. <laughs> Not thick. And as you can see, I just splattered it all over me and all over that because I forgot when I tipped it to get more, it was watery. But I'm not afraid to show you because I could delete this, but I'm not going to. I could cut it out, I mean, but I'm not going to to show you that everyone makes mistakes. Right now, I'm gonna set that aside. And I'm gonna take this and try to put what I can back in. I can use this to make leaves with my die cuts. I could put like, Two other colors or something else besides leaves but that's how I made my leaves when I did my die cuts I put three different colors of course they weren't brown but I'm just showing you those leaf cutouts I showed you but I don't know the die cuts I, I'll show you I have to do a video on this mess <laughs> And I'll show you, but 
It's all right, I just forgot I put water in that one. So it's all good. Make sure you go around the edges too. Make sure all the white's gone and envelope around the edges. Okay? So make sure you don't get paint on that. Be aware of that when you go around the edges, okay? All right, I'll be back when this mess is dry. <laughs> You got it right side up. This and I'm gonna pull this down. This one I don't want to put this way. Make sure it's in the middle. The same amount space between the top and the bottom and the sides and it's straight make sure you decrease okay now we're gonna do this one put this one in first that's the back of it we're gonna glue this one to this side up here so make sure again that you don't cover your picture you got it where you want it Maj -maj. make sure you hold this down very very good so I'm going to slide that up and I'm going to you can still see a little bit. So I'm gonna slide it up some more until you can't really see it. I don't want it on my picture. Right there. That should do it. That should do it. And then come to the side it's sticking to and just push it down. I just want to make sure I showed you this enough so you know how to do it. And if it gets wrinkly in there like that, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're just giving it a design or a color in there. That's it. I still need to glue this. I wanted to show you this too. See this little flap? It's not glued down. So just take a little bit of glue and just put it on the flap itself. It needs stuff down just a little bit. That's all you need. And glue it down. We don't want to cover the picture, so we're going to bring it up like that. I'm going to flip it and do the same thing. That's how you put your scraps left over in your envelopes. That. And this is going to be a left, lefty journal, or a lefty little notebook for lefties or righties. Doesn't matter. All right, that one's gonna. I'm gonna let that one sit a bit before I cut that one off, okay? Because I think I put too much mudge bodge on, but that's okay. I'm gonna let that dry. And then I'm gonna run the brown along the edges. Okay? Okay, beautiful beings, we're making another notebook and I chose this and it will be bent like this. And I'm using an envelope, okay? Just a junk envelope, All right? But I kept the edges. I'll show you, just cut it. As close as you can, make sure you can see me, as close as you can without hurting the envelope. And I might leave that, I don't know if that's straight, it looks straight to me, I'm going to leave that for now. But, 
you can do two things. You can color the inside just like two inches of it with paint, or you can cover it with cardstock scrap. And I have card Scott, cardstock scrap, and I seem to have misplaced it. And I think this joins too, or Hobby Lobby. I'm thinking more Hobby Lobby. But I want this one to show here, like this. And I'm gonna, I already cut it down, made sure it perfectly fit inside of there. And now I'm gonna glue it down. Now I gotta make sure it's not sticking the envelope together, which it's not. See, and there it is take your brush down to here, right? Say we're gluing it down. Just take it down to there and don't go past because you don't want it to go past because it will stick the envelope, okay? Then I think I'm gonna take this one. Always check to make sure it doesn't See, it's, you don't want that, okay? So I'm gonna have to cut a little bit more off. And this isn't even straight, make sure it's straight. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that to dry completely. And then I'm gonna trim it off show you that and then we're gonna put something on this side. All right beautiful beans. I know if I put well let's get this out of the way. I'm just gonna trim this one that we did and this side off. So I'm going to go along the side of this right up to the edge. This side I want to do something different and use the paper that we colored. If you haven't seen that, I'll put the link in below. But I'm thinking this will show through more than I like. Let's see that. See that's showing through. You see that? It's showing through there. So I'm thinking I'm just going to put this apricot because it's bright on it. And you might want to have a piece of paper up here. This is all junk mail, so I don't get paint on that up there. All right, I think this is the last one. Sure. This one is this. And I chose yellow because yellow's in the flowers, not much, but that's why I chose yellow. shut and no worries but see that's giving me a hard time right there just watch for that because sometimes the corners really do not like to glue
Nice. When these are all dry, I think I got them all. Let me pause this and see. Using chocolate brown, metallic. I'm just gonna paint this whole thing because not everybody has cardstock. So we're just gonna do the whole thing. And then I was thinking, even if, like in books, you can find pictures or whatever, you can cut them out. If your mom, dad, or you post or have different pictures in magazines and they fit in here, you can cut them out too. And I say mom and dad, cause you know I post these for kids too. Kids, kids love learning too, to do crafts. Especially with winter coming up, you have something to do. A lot of teenagers, or even if they're not teenagers, Love crafting. Okay. Then this gooey stuff. I don't know why it does that. It's so disgusting. But it does it. And I'm using chocolate brown metallic. I didn't mention that. And there's some more goo. I think it's when they sit a while they do that. But I did want to get closer to this. Hopefully I can get closer to that without messing it up. Nope. I can go back in there with a paper towel that's wet and wipe that off. Just point that out if you get it on that part. A, paper, a wet paper towel, a real light. Not too much water paper towel. Should take it right off. Okay. Okay, this is all covered. I covered it all with chocolate brown metallic. And I went around the edges of the back and cut out a piece of paper to fit in like this. But I'm thinking you should put paint around the sides so it blends in well. So that's what we're gonna do. I just wanna make sure there's glue all over the white to where I tore it. Not glue, paint all the way around. And then when that's dry, we'll glue it down. Okay, this is all nice dried down. See how it blends in? I kind of like the ripped look better, but I wanted to show you if it didn't look it. Now you got a choice if you just rip a little bit or if you like just a straight. Okay. Okay, beautiful beings. I want this piece right here down in. Okay, beautiful beings, I just wanted to show you. I took paint and just did the edges, and then I flip it, and I do the other side to cover up the white of the paper. All I do is stick my finger in the paint like this, and just go along and cover it up. Easy peasy. And to keep it divided, I'll, I'll stick something in there. I just put it, 
paint bottle in there. And then you just set it somewhere where the edges are off like on a table. On the table like this and let them dry. Okay, beautiful beans. This one is from Chalabella, this print. It was a piece of scrap, so I glued it on the inside and I made it a flip one up because, again, because of the writing. And I already put this color down, Mountain Forest. And I put Palm Leaf down. Now, I'm just gonna add some this. This needed thick because the ad was really showing. Three colors, okay? Mountain forest, lime, sherbet, and leaf, palm leaf. Okay, I wanted to show you like this one. I'm taking a brush and going along here so there's no white showing. But be very careful so you don't get it on your other side, which I just did. <laughs> just take it like this. See, I'm holding it sideways. Just do that to get rid of that white all along edges. Okay. Alright, let's see how bad it is. No, oh, I only got a little paint right there. Okay, we'll be back when this dries. Okay, this one we're gonna have flip over this way. And my camera won't go up any further, but I have this, we need to cover up with paint. And no, I don't drink. <laughs> I didn't even go up and get this. But we're gonna cover this with white, we're gonna try. So, cause I'm gonna glue another piece of paper that we colored down. It has a little bit of green that showed up. So I am gonna put this on kind of thick. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry. But this one, you can see the Seneca in there, so I'm just gonna bend this this way to know how much to cut off. Here, and some of that pumpkin does need cut off. So I'm gonna make sure that's right there. black and white just like the design so I thought why bother but I don't want to bend that until it's completely dry because it'll wrinkle but it was a scrap left over from that cardstock I just cut out pumpkins okay okay now we're gonna put this on the back okay of this It doesn't show through now. All right. That's too big for that size. So I'm going to put it along here. Do this. 
only, I don't care on this one because the lines are disappeared. The water took the lines away, the color of the lines away, so it didn't matter which way I put this one on. out but I don't want to rub too much because sometimes it does tear especially the thinner the paper okay this one that's why it was magnified okay this one I'm trimming off the edges it's junk mail again okay and that's gonna be the cover and this is going I'm going to put this one inside. This is from Hobby Lobby. This is from Hobby Lobby, I believe. And I, and I did cut this bigger. Okay. The piece, the scrap piece, I cut it bigger than the actual piece. And then you just cut off what doesn't go on later. It, make sure it's covered everywhere. Turn it over. And voila. So I got it right in the middle. Okay, so we just cut that off. Okay. Alright, and then I have another one right here. This paper is from Hobby Lobby or Joanne's. Sorry, it's been a while since I bought this paper. I'm gonna let that dry, hopefully that's good. Most of the wording's hidden. I'll be back. Hey, beautiful beans. All I did in this one was add the paper that we colored. And I'm gonna make this part one because this video is already past 30 minutes long. So I'm gonna make this part one and then I'll upload part two on how to put the papers that you can see back there that we colored into the notebooks and decorate the inside or the outside. More of our fall notebooks. Have a beautiful everything.